Rewind. This week we start with Rachel Stamp, the angsty punk rock three-piece made up of Dave, Will and Robin. Their major ambition? World domination. The likelihood? Not bad. They've already played with No Doubt, Korn and the legendary Cheap Trick to audiences including the likes of Madonna and Marilyn Manson and they're appearing in a multi-million budget film called Greenwich Mean Time. We managed to catch up with them before they shot off on another rock and roll trip and got them to record some songs exclusively for us. Play. Goes 
Uh, Will, David, Robin and Shahina from Rachel Stamp, welcome to In Session. How are you all doing? Ah, uh, very well. Yeah, Sneezing. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. What have you been up to lately? Well, we've just come off tour. We did a 26-day tour of Britain, which we called the Permanent Damage Tour, which unfortunately turned out to be rather... It was a prophecy, calling it that, because everything went wrong. It used to break down, uh, you know, on the way to loads of gigs and stuff, both mechanically and emotionally. Not a mental abuse went on. <laughs> You seem quite happy about that, though. It's character building stuff. We got to the end of it, you know. We had uh, stage drivers in tiaras. <laughs> yeah, we have this strange phenomenon at our gigs. We have very young girls stage diving in tiaras. Yeah, and they and always then fall off, and we end up wearing them ourselves. <laughs> How did you all get together? Well, we were part of a, a government experiment. It's true. <laughs> they took the, some genes from a frog, some from a, um, a cat, and a couple from a rabbit, and they made. It was, the idea was to make superhumans. But it kind of got a went wrong. So with silly coloured hair. Why does the name Rachel Stamp come from? Rachel Stamp was uh, a PE teacher in my school, Miss Stamp, and Ms. she Stamp. was fantastic. And uh, she had those really long fingernails, you know, like um, Flojo yeah. thing. She wasn't very good basketball because of that reason. Yeah, and um, and uh, she was just very odd, and uh, and I used to think she was fantastic. So we named the band after her. Does she know this that you don't know? Oh yeah, of course. She comes to see us when playing cards. her first name. <laughs> what? Oh, well, because yeah, you know, everyone knows the names of the teachers' first knew. names. You know, that's quite common in our school. I, I thought their first, really. first names were Mister and you know, uh, Sir. No, I went to a, uh, a, a, um, a school with a very strange philosophy where you had to call the teachers by their first names. Really? Where was this? But in Wales. Well, they all know each other in Wales. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? On that bombshell, I heard you've been uh, uh, in a film. You're going to be appearing in Greenwich Mean Time. Yeah, we were in a oh, film called Greenwich Mean Time. Where we played a band called Rachel Stamp, and we uh, <laughs> and we played Everyone on. Thought we were we were made up. Yeah, they, they thought that we were real. You guys worked really well together. You guys met before yeah. the shoot, before the casting, you know. Yeah, yeah. but that was, was quite fun because there was another band we were meant to do it, and they were kind of had this sort of little scene where they were sort of in the corner of a club playing, and they dropped out, and we, for you know one reason or another, got chosen to do it, and they kind of changed the scene, so we were on top of this. We were actually playing on top of a cabin on the Cutty Sark ship, and it was quite dangerous because we were falling off, getting rained <laughs> on. It was, yeah. They were shooting a summer's party scene in October, yeah. and it was <laughs> teeing down with uh, cats and dogs, and they had hair dryers on flags between shots to try and like make it look like it was summer, and all the guests are freezing with their ginger ale, you know, trying to make out their yeah. champagne or something. When can we Best see this boy. epic? Um, um, I think it's out in September. We're hoping it goes the same way of uh, train spotting and all these things, because they're British films. And yeah, yeah there's loads of British people shouting in it, you know. Yeah. It's going to be a big hit. De Riga. De Riga. So what's next for the band musically, then? De Riga. Um, no, we're going to films now, we're fed up with Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> one little taste of... Uh, <laughs> this is the last film set. recording we're ever going to do. Is that a lie? I take it that's yeah. a lie. <laughs> we're going to do another single and a mini-album and some more touring and maybe support. Well, Robin is, but... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just me. Well, you're you're gonna gonna I wanted to be in the movies, and I've just had enough of it all, really. Have you got any titles or release dates for the material? Um, uh, the material, we have lots of titles, but they're secret. Our last single, we had five release dates for. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think it came out on all those days as well. Rachel Stamp, thank, thank you very much. <laughs>
Stop. Stop. Rachel Stamp, in session with tracks recorded exclusively for us. The next single is Got the Worm and is due to be released on Bitch Vinyl Records on the 29th of June. This is the Student Broadcast Network. Next up this week, one of those...